안녕하세요 반갑습니다 건강나무입니다 이번에 모터 트렌드 팟캐스트에서 루시드 CEO 피터 롤리슨과 디자인 및 브랜드 수석 부사장인 데릭 젠킨슨과 함께 루시드와 루시드 그래비티에 대해서 이야기를 나누었는데요 인터뷰 내용 중에서 인상 깊게 언급했었던 내용들 중에 루시드 에어의 비용 절감을 통한 전기차 대중화를 어떻게 나아갈 것인지 그리고 루시드 에어를 통해 비용 절감하여 앞으로 전기차 가격 인하를 어떤 방법으로 해 나갈 것인지에 대해서 언급을 했고 루시드 제품 개발 과정과 전기차 배터리 개발에서의 혁신에 대해서 그리고 전기차 시장 변화와 루시드의 성장성에 대해서 언급하였습니다. Actually finding out the, the, the ramifications with SUV are just as profound with gravity but I didn't foresee that mm. and I knew that efficiency was going to be the thing that no one was chasing and I wanted to chase that down why not because I'm kind of a nerdy, nerdy engineer but but I wanted to reduce battery pack size because I wanted to use less energy less minerals less everything and I knew that's the big cost item in a battery in a car and I had to drive that down in order to do a cheap electric car in the future that's why I wanted to do lucid air people don't know this in order to push the cost down so we can get more people affording electric cars. So, so, so we can get 4.74 miles per kilowatt hour now. Yes. But that's with the new EPA cycle, which is more stringent. Yes. I, I, I don't quote me on this. I mean, it's, it, it's more like roughly 4.9 on the old cycle. And the vision always was, I always wanted to get to six miles per kilowatt hour. Lucid has too big a car to do that. But a small car, like a Volkswagen Golf, that is the, the vision. That, that's what I've set the team. Could we by the middle of the decade get to six miles per kilowatt hour. To do that, we'd have to prove four miles per kilowatt hour with lucid air. And we're getting awfully close now. It seemed like crazy, but we right. are getting close. Right. And remember, there's a lot of weight in air for the sound pack and the features, even in pure, that we could take out. But we want to keep it a luxury experience. And, you and they a, saved us, I'm telling you. And you have a factory there. We have a factory, the first car factory in Saudi Arabia. I'm so proud. And it's, it's a matter of national pride there. And, right. and let me tell you, there are young women working along their side, their male counterparts on the line. Oh, that's great. They're treated absolutely equal. And it's absolutely wonderful to see this. There's a generation with a will to work, to prove themselves. And these are young Saudi generation coming and working in our factory. I'm, I'm really, I, I mean so much because I think there's a, there's a great social change for the better there. We're, we're part of that. We're part of that movement. Hmm. That Looking was, up. well, what happened was we got the potential investment um, autumn of fall of 18. Okay. And, but then we had to go through uh, a government approval process. But of course, there were the two longer shutdowns in, in, in a US government history. Right, so right. we didn't really get the money till spring of 19. So it was only go early 19. And uh, so we went from early 19, go, and we re-engineered everything. We said, right, we're going to go from IGBT's inverter system to silicon carbide. We're going to go from 400, 420 volts to 925. We got ultra high voltage. We reworked the whole architecture of the battery because we'd learned so much from Formula E racing by then. We were already supplying to Formula E. Right. And we no one knows that. But, we but created, yeah. yeah. So we'd been in th- Formula E for many years by then. Right. And all that learning from, I mean, I'll give you an example, reducing the, 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 um, the um, electrical resistance inside the battery pack is key. So what we learned in Formula E was rather than have just one wire bond to uh, the positive of each cell and one to the negative, each of those are hotspots. And you only need one fuse per cell. So we put two wire bonds to the positive, one to the negative. So we halved half of the resistance. And then we, so it's three wire bonds to each cell in Formula E. It reduced the resistance of the pack, reduced the heat through the race. We still preconditioned it cold for the race and let the pack heat up at the end of the race. And we tuned that with the wire bond thickness. And then when we came to apply this to air, we went thick and thin on the wire bond, which no one had done. And so we re- dramatically reduced the heating in the pack. That means more efficiency, more range. And because there's less heating, we need smaller radiators, so we become more aerodynamic. Sounds complicated. Yeah. 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 Uh, we're running out of time yeah. here. Um, okay. When did, 
when did gravity become conceived? When did you say like we have to do? Oh, an we SUV? we knew we had to do an SUV many years ago. I mean, the first the first time I was up at your uh, factory, I mean, it was, or headquarters, uh, yeah, it was yeah, it was yeah. hey, we're doing an SUV yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when did we launch? Uh, we launched uh, October twenty one. The first deliveries, something like that, around yeah. then. Uh-huh. So uh, it's been two years now. Uh, gravity's over two years. We've been seriously doing gravity for about two years, nine months. So gravity was well in the works before we, before we even launched it. If you really know what you're doing, you can do a car from conception to start of production in three and a half years. That's pretty much world record pace. That's really pushing. Maybe you could do it a bit quicker. If things right. go, awry it takes a little it's about 42 months the market wow. has changed wow. quite a bit in the last 42 months like we passed oh, in the in the last 18 months the u.s reached the five percent sales uh, uh that that key gateway where five percent of all new vehicle sales are evs mm. and it's gone to closer to eight percent but then now it's freaking out because it seems to have it's the rate of growth that yeah. has slowed a little yeah. bit yeah. Would you, knowing what you know now, would you have changed anything about the conception of this vehicle? Like, it, no, no, uh, I, I have an unerring faith that EVs are the future. It's inevitable. Uh, it, <laughs> it is inevitable. I think that macro is having an effect upon all luxury car sales. Yeah, and I yes, think it yes. comes back to the efficiency thing. All routes, all roads lead to efficiency because EVs today are a little bit more expensive than their gasoline counterparts, and in this really stressful high rate interest rate economy, yeah, inflation that's is impacting just and inflation. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Crushing, crushing, crushing them all. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at the number of cars we've sold this year, it kills me that I'm man. We've got the best car on the planet and the numbers should be higher right but we're not too shabby compared with um porsche taycan sales and that's right. the mighty porsche and most people never heard of lucid 이러한 전체적인 맥락들을 보았을 때 루시드가 나아가고 있는 방향성과 인사이트를 얻을 수 있었고 루시드가 전기차로서 무엇을 더 하려고 하고 뭘더 추구하려고 하는지 알수 있었습니다 앞으로 루시드는 끊임없이 매력적이고 효율적인 전기차를 출시함으로써 루시드가 중저가형 대량 양산까지 성공을 이루고 앞으로 모터, 배터리 시스템과 성능을 향상시켜서 중저가형을 넘어선 더 효율적이고 새로운 뉴 모델들을 앞서 내놓게 된다면 루시드 투자자들에게 보다 더 나은 기여를 보여줄 수 있을 것으로 보입니다. 시청해주셔서 감사드리고 구독, 좋아요, 알람 설정 부탁드리겠습니다. 감사합니다.